It's the In-Wheel Time Car Show, your weekly go-to all things automotive place. Howdy, along with Mike out of this world, Mars. King Conrad DeLong. We need more Jeff Zekin. I'm Don Armstrong. Glad you could join us on this Saturday. Do we have our guest there? Almost. <laughs> We're 90% there. We're 90% there. Yeah, we do. Okay. Don't you? Yeah, right. There we go. He's well, clear I the screen a little bit. Audio, but... There you go. Yeah, let's go. Good morning, guys. There he is. Manny Kapoor, product manager, Mopar product manager for Wrangler and Gladiator. Manny, it's great to see you. Great to talk to you. Thanks so much for joining us on your day off. We appreciate it. Hey, I wouldn't. Uh, this is the only thing I would be. I would like to do. This is. Uh, this is fun. I enjoy this. Well, thank Thanks you. For having me. And we love the background. Are you? At, nice. Are you at home? Uh, I'm at home. Yeah. You know, I, I wanted to hide. The kids are sleeping. I figured. Let me go in the basement where no one's going to hear me because as soon as they hear a racket, they're going to want to jump in on the screen and. Uh, you're not a company man or anything, are you? A company man? What a do you mean? A company well, man? I mean, we got we got we got the grill of the uh, Jeep Wrangler up there. Uh, he's got to uh, show his seven oh. slot pride. Yeah. Yeah. that's it. I'll tell you what, that, that's uh, pride and joy. You know what? That, um, that that was a gift. We did a special edition for Red Rock, and you know what? This was the first grill that came off of one of the fifty units that we built for the club, and uh, it was a little bit of memorabilia for me, and um, you know. I got the picture here. If you guys want to see it for fun, yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swing, swing the camera around. I, I need that grill. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we all need that grill. <laughs> so this, this was the uh, the vehicle that we built right here. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, cool! Very nice. Yeah, it was a special edition. It was a uh, you know a numbered vehicle. This was the one of fifty. So we took that grill and I hung it up just to, as a memory. Yeah. Well, so, I, so the number one off the roll off the off the line is missing a grill. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's no, where it's it in his garage. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is down in the basement. Yeah, well, no, yeah. It's the vehicle's in his garage. Oh, the vehicle's up upstairs. I got you. Well, Manny, uh, so we wanted to talk to you today because it, it's time to bring in the Gladiator and get some Mopar tweaks to it. And I know that you've got a whole list of stuff uh, that's uh, ready for the Gladiator owners to uh, actually accessorize their vehicle. You know, um, we, we got a lot of parts, and... We started from one right back in 2018 on the Wrangler, and thankfully some of the parts, you know, transfer over to the Gladiator. We're well over 500 some accessories, and you know the the JPP line, if you will, there's in excess of 200 parts. So lots to pick pick from for sure. So for those that were in Chicago, seeing a couple of our new products or releases, the Sunrider is one of them. Um, you guys get a chance to see that? I have not seen it. No. Is that, uh, yeah. are we talking about the roof line? Yeah, so, you know, what it really is is, um, let's say you're out and you have a hard top. And, you know, you want to get a little bit of sunshine, you got to pull over, you got to take off the freedom tops, put them in your trunk. Uh, what we did is we said, why don't we get the, the soft top and incorporate it with the hard top? And, you know, now you got the best of both. you got soft in the front, hard in the rear. Um, and basically, that flip top, you know, our Sunrider allows you to, to roll it back. And it's very, very convenient, a couple of clips. It's easy to install, probably 20, 30 minutes. Um, I got some pictures here if you guys like to see it. Sure. Absolutely, yeah. Well, what a great idea to incorporate both the soft top and the hard top together to make it convenient to open up to the sun. Yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah, here we go. And are, so here it is. are all of these parts available through any of the Jeep dealers? Uh, Absolutely. Okay. So, so you can pick it up at the dealer, or we make it even more convenient. You can pick it up, uh, you know, with your vehicle when you purchase. So if you do it as a check-the-box option from the factory, we'll put it in the trunk for you so it's available, and you can roll it into your finance. It's with a vehicle, eight ninety-five, Ooh, nice. great price. Oh, yeah, that's even better. I love that's that. Yeah, better. roll it in. Because yeah. eight ninety-five so, on a seven-year note is nothing. <laughs> right. You're, you're paying a couple of dollars a month, right? Yeah, exactly. But this, this is really what it is. You know, quite simply, when you're installing it, there's a couple of rails here. you got to put in a couple of fasteners. Uh, no drilling required. You know, the important thing is there's a little bulb seal here. If you install it properly, you know, men sometimes don't like to read instructions. But if you do follow uh. the instructions, I can promise that you won't have any issues, no water leaks. It's a fantastic product. Um, and it buttons up just like it would on a soft top. So what we did is we took the engineering of our soft top and we incorporated into this product. And like I said, you know, we kind of cut it to incorporate with the, the hard top. And it's, it's a great execution. And you can put it on and leave it year round. Here, here's the issue. Sometimes, you know, someone lives in a place where they don't have garage space. Maybe they don't even have a garage. Where would you store a second top? So we said, you know, let's try to make it convenient. And, you know, our approach is always solution-based to whatever problem one might have. But uh, that, that was the angle on this product. But I tell you what, it's taken off exceptionally well. It's doing real well. 
Well, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, doesn't the Jeep hardtop now have two removable panels up there in the driver-passenger compartment? Absolutely correct. So the Freedom Top, and that's kind of what I was alluding to in the beginning, that if you wanted to get the sun, you'd have to pull over and remove those, where now at the flick of a wrist, you know, much like a soft top, you could just, you know, flip it with a, you know, a quick flip wrist. And basically, these are the latches here that I'm pointing at. That's well, all it is. Those two little latches release it. Okay. So it's it's not coming up, Manny. I, I don't know if there's another sheen or share button or something you need to hit, but just oh. so you know, the pictures aren't coming up. I'm sorry. We love we love looking at you though. That's it. Well, okay. yeah. <laughs> while, talking, while he's, I'm talking like you guys are watching. Well, well while, we're uh, trying. While, while he's doing that, I got a question now. That it, this is only available through the dealership because there are an abundance of aftermarket suppliers, shops that do work on Jeeps. Is this available to them, or would they have to get the product from the dealership to satisfy their customer? Oh, I'm sorry. I just here we go. Can you there see? You go. There you yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, operator issue. You know, it's the problem. I'm only on coffee number two, so I apologize. <laughs> uh, here we are. So, like I was saying, here is the the top, and you know, here's a couple of attachments. You got some bracketry, a couple of um, fasteners. Again, no drilling, easy install, and these latches here. Once you release those, you it allows you to flip the top back. So it's not the whole top; it's just the 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 part above the front driver the, and passenger. Yeah, yeah, driver, yeah, yeah, yeah. Panels, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's one of the things that uh, I really did like last time. I had uh, a Jeep Wrangler with the the hard top on it. I did have the two removable panels. I didn't know whether that was standard now with all of the hard tops or whether that was an option with the hard top. Did you take them off? Yeah. When you no. Had that, it? That's 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 uh, I believe that's a standard option. I mean. It's right. standard with all vehicles, but uh, this allows you to, you know, have the best of both worlds, essentially. Yeah. Oh, that, that's, that's, that's uh, really nice. And, you know, the other thing I wanted to uh, bring up is the fact that uh, these Mopar parts, aftermarket parts, if you will, yes. I don't even know, really, can you call them aftermarket? Because I, I guess you could order your, your Jeep with these parts, uh, and I guess some of them are dealer installed. Is that how that works? Um, yeah, you know, one might call it aftermarket, but really it's the OEM. We are the OEM. We're the factory, right? So let's not confuse things. Um, aftermarket, essentially, they're taking a vehicle and they're trying to fit their products into it. Right. That's the OEM. We're making products that maybe we don't install in the factory. In a lot of cases, we do to make it convenient. Um, we've got an upgrade center, which is right across the street from the factory. We'll send a vehicle there and we'll make all kinds of modifications, right? We're always expanding. We're never sitting still. We're always looking for the next best thing. How do we make it better, improve what's already a great, you know, experience? And we'll add those products right there um, in our custom shop. Well, well and, and Jeep customers demand the uniqueness of their Jeep. So offering, you, I think you said before you had like 500 part numbers that are available for all the uh, the uh, F, the accessory items that Mopar or that Jeep sells for their for their trucks. What a better way for a customer to set it up for themselves so they're not seeing themselves drive down the highway in the other direction. Well, Manny, to that point, uh, generally from my experience with Mopar, you guys always pick a vehicle and actually make that quote unquote Mopar vehicle available to purchase. Do you have any currently uh, in the in in the offering? You know what, we, we like to do that a lot, and what we'll do is some of these shows, you'll see them rolling around, and um, sometimes we make them available, we'll do like a buzz model. You see these like Mopar 20, 18, 19, you know, they go back. Uh, we do that often, but what we do, or what we did in the case of Moab, is we took a vehicle and we threw some product on it. If you pay close attention to some of the products on there, some of them are not available today, but are coming soon, and I won't give it away, but... Uh, there's a lot of things that we'll tease, and what we do is try to understand consumer likes, you know, and that's where we get our inputs. We don't just make product, throw it against the wall and see if it sticks. You know, we'll ask our consumers, do you like this? What don't you like? How can we make it better? Um, what are your wishes? And that's how we kind of go around to develop product. And um, take a look at Orange Peels if you get the chance, and uh, that, that'll give you a little bit of an indication of some of the stuff that's coming. So, Manny, let me ask you this. and. Mm -hmm. Is there anything specific for the new 4XE? I mean, I know all the Wrangler, Wrangler parts, the Gladiator parts, things like that will fit. But I didn't know if there was something specifically for that model. You know, and that, and that's a great point. I'm glad you brought that up because a lot of people ask, you know, is there, you know, unique parts? There's a handful of parts that are unique. For the most part, like you said, a lot of the parts carry over and they'll fit. 
you know, what really changes the battery pack. So that'll change the, the floor and that'll essentially change your mats and, you know, the fits of other products. But what we wanted to do was make sure there was continuity. So we modified those parts. We made them also available for the 4 by E. The seats changed. So what we did is we ran some new um, seat covers with our partner Catskin, right? So we do everything from bumpers, winches, um, rock rails, wheels, you name it. You know, we don't stop. We're, we've got something pretty much every category. But um, if it fits on a regular, you know, Wrangler, it's going to fit on a 4 by E. And if it didn't, we modified it to fit. Okay. So if I if I have a Wrangler that's uh, yeah. uh, three or four years old, I can still retrofit uh, this new stuff, generally speaking, that Mopar has to offer. Yeah, for the most part, this stuff is reverse compatible. It'll go back to, you know, the 2018. Now, granted, it's impossible to launch with every single product at day one, right? Sure. And there's always an evolution and, uh, you know, new products coming. But we try to make it, in the event something dramatically changes the vehicle, you know, we'll, we'll make sure we identify it as, you know, only to whatever year it may be. But uh, for the most part, everything goes backwards and will fit. Very good. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, and the, I guess that the unique part about this is that this is the factory parts under the Mopar label. And uh, so if you're, and I'm one of those kind of factory guys, I love the factory stuff. Always have. Not to put down any of the aftermarket stuff. But, but you the, know this stuff's going to fit. Well, uh, I was thinking the same Because it was designed by the people who designed the vehicle. Right. right. Exactly. And uh, I've always been one of those kind of factory guys. As a matter of fact, my C5 Corvette has some aftermarket stuff on it, but it's from the factory because it was actually made for the Z06. So uh, uh, even though my car is not a Z06 Corvette, it still has like the rear spoiler on it is for a Z06. It crosses over. Yeah. Yeah. But but the thing about like with the Jeeps and stuff, you can get a lot of these parts. They they fit so where they really don't look aftermarket. No, they don't at you all. You know, like like if you put a ten inch lift kit on it, well, you know, you know that, that somebody's been on aftermarket. So it just looks like it comes from the factory. It just has a little bit cleaner but look. It's, also the great thing about Jeep is the wide range of years that offer that interchangeability. Manny, uh, uh, Mike mentioned uh, suspension parts. Does Mopar uh, supply suspension parts as well? Yeah, you know, well, um, let's look at consumer wants, right? So the number one thing that consumers do when they get their Wrangler is wheels, lifts, tires, right? So we had to come up with a lift kit. I think we have probably one of the industry-leading products in terms of, you know, off-road and on-road. You know, we partnered with Fox. We've got... Um, one of their best, you know, two and a half inch diameter shocks. It's good for, for heating and, you know, um, dissipating heat, actually. And the comfort is there, right? It does really well. We got one for pretty much every vehicle line in our in our Wrangler setup. And that, that's the first thing consumers do. So there are suspension parts. But, you know, if I could take you to some other products. Now that we're in the summer, we're talking about the Sunrider. Yep. One of my favorite products is tube doors. I don't know if you guys have seen that. I could throw it up on the screen, but when you say factory fits, this is an interesting one because what we do is we take the factory latches, the factory hinges, and we use all those components to create these tube doors, which is a great um, aesthetic and comfort. You know, if you don't like removing the doors and you feel a little, you know, uh, queasy about looking out and not having any kind of security blanket, <laughs> yeah. or if you have an animal like myself, I'm afraid that, you know, you might take a, a corner of the heart and the dog rolls out. But uh, <laughs> this kind of provides some Rolls. comfort. Let me throw it on the screen real quick. Yeah, please. I was thinking mother-in-law. Well, uh, I'm, th I'm thinking <laughs> my wife would be one of those. I'm not going if you're taking the doors off of it. I mean, I already know that that's coming. But something like this right. might. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Tube doors. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tube doors. Right. So when you're talking about factory, and I just wanted to emphasize if you're going to do something, do it right. We like to make sure that the product looks like it belongs. You don't want to throw something on there and it looks like a complete anomaly. This right. thing was designed for this vehicle. You know, between our designers who are very, very passionate, you know, if you look at this, it looks like it's straight, but they actually contour out. It gives it additional body, so it looks like it's got a wider stance. Um, when you're sitting in the vehicle, it actually provides for greater comfort because you have more knee and leg room. Best thing about it, awesome armrest when you're driving and you feel that sense of security. If you don't want to drive with the doors, okay. Off here's a, you still here's got the a, wide here's open. A stupid to it. question for you: Where are the door yeah, handles? The door handles. Look at this eject button right here. You grab that, and it'll toss eject. you over. Like you're the in eject. The eject. <laughs> <laughs> now we're back to the mother in law. That's what I'm talking and, about. And I'm assuming that these tube doors fit on the door storage hanger thing that some people have in their garage that I me. know Mopar sells as well. 
Yeah, it's pretty simple, right? You just you throw a couple of hooks in the wall, you know, yeah, and these your, be pretty uh, simple. studs, yeah. and they'll hang on there. It's not not so bad. Uh, I, but I guess it begs the question, you know, I'm surprised you didn't ask, where's the mirrors, right? So, oh, yeah, yeah. Course, we, we wouldn't leave that one alone. So what we did is we created some mirrors to attach the doors. Look at that. Um, so okay. you got to complete. But, you know, it's the accessory you kind of build upon. Here's an accessory. Here's an accessory for the accessory. And yet yep. here's another accessory. So if you were looking for a half-door type product, what we did is we created these mesh covers, right? <laughs> that go right over it. Look at that. So what yeah, does this yeah, do? Yeah. It keeps debris out. It keeps water out to some level. I mean, if you're running a power washer, it might be different. But, I mean, you know, it, for the most part, I keep the water out. But it's the comfort of the half door. And, you know, for I think it's $250 for a set on a four door. It's very inexpensive wow. um, just for these covers. But it's a great add-on, right? It's I so can see with, that. With all of these add-ons and the accessories, specifically suspension that Mike brought up, what does it yeah. do to the warranty? Now, I've got a, you know, you put a big lift on and the shocks and something goes wrong for whatever reason. Is that covered through the we, through, through Jeep? And, and that's the best part. You guys keep mentioning about from the factory and not being aftermarket, being the OEM, it's the same engineers that build these vehicles that are creating these products, right? So we honor the same warranty. We will not void your warranty. So if you were to buy an aftermarket lift kit, as an example, mm -hmm. um, put on your vehicle and something happens and it's causing some kind of complications, that's not going to be covered. However, if you use ours, we know that it's validated, true, tried, and tested. We're going to stand behind it. Gotcha. And we're going to cover any issue you have. Well, one of the cool things, too, at the uh, Jeep dealerships, uh, when some of these lift kits are delivered to the Jeep dealerships, they're delivered on the, on the crate, but it's got all this Jeep branding on this wooden crate. Mm -hmm. So you go into their parts departments, and they're all stacked up. And a lot of times the customers will ask for that crate to come with the vehicle as well. So it's kind of a cool little bonus piece to it. They get this cool wood box yeah. with all the Jeep logos on it. Highly sought after. You're at, yeah. actually, you know, a lot of people are, are fishing around. They're selling them on eBay or whatever it is. But, uh, yeah, it, it's a wood crate, but there's a lot of novelty in it. People use it for a toolbox, put the kids in it. I don't know. But uh, it's a neat neat little uh, mother-in-law. <laughs> you know, yeah, we were talking about the tube doors last time. I mean, we were talking Wrangler, but you make that for the Gladiator also, right? I mean, that's... If it's on the Gladiator as well, you're right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You got Gladiator, wow. you got uh, Wrangler... And that's just a small sampling. I mean, we, we could go on for days talking about the different products, you know, whether it's lights or rock rails and, you know, the little features that we add into it. Again, it's solution-based, right, or um, problem-based. You know, you try to find here's the problem, here's our solution. And uh, we enjoy it. We have a lot of fun with it. Well, the thing, we, anyone. Yeah, the thing we learn going to some of the Jeep events is Jeep uh, people are there listening to what your Jeep owners are asking for, and that's what you're developing through your accessory line is, here's what our Jeep owners are asking for, so delivering back to them what they want. Yeah, I think that's the only way to do it. What's the point of making a product that no one's going to buy, right? We're not making them to put them on the shelf, and if it's a consumer want, those are the ones we're going to go after. Exactly. Well, Banny, uh, you know, the Gladiator is the hot thing right now, so anything specific for the Gladiator? Well, if you look at the Gladiator, what's the real difference? Now you got a bed, right? So now um, what's really hot is the overlanding. You know, we're trying to really move into the overlanding area. A lot of people are using these to go, you know, off the grid. And, you know, they want to camp for days. They want tents. They want um, bigger wheels to get them there. Again, the suspensions, um, the lighting's important. But uh, a lot of the stuff that fits on a Wrangler is going to fit on the, on the Gladiator. But it, it's really the cool things that we had for the the bed of it, you know, like we've got this really cool toolbox, a deck system. I don't know if you've had an opportunity to see that. I don't have a picture handy. But uh, basically, it's a, a big box that goes into the bed. It's got um, drawers that are on rollers, and you could put your content, whether you're doing it, using it for, you know, construction or using it to go camping. It's got great storage, right? And that's kind of what we're doing is leveraging the opportunity of, uh, you know, what consumers are using these vehicles for. I, I look forward to having four of these delivered to us. Yeah, yeah exactly. You tell, me, yeah. you tell me the colors. You know, you pick your colors, and we'll see what we can do for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Dan listening here somewhere. I'll make sure I put a plug in his ear. Yeah, Dan. All Help right. us out. Well, uh, so and, and it's all available online to order through? Yeah. Most of our sales are from the dealer, right? So we don't sell direct to consumer art. Our retail channels are dealers. So go into okay. your dealer, you know, when you're in there going for an oil change, you know, ask, say, hey, what do you guys have for accessories? Show me. But you can and, shop uh, all of that online, right, through the Mopar you can brand? Shop online. 
Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. It's all available. Yeah. You can see it. All We've got catalogs. All can be installed at the dealership service department for That's you. Yes. Or, 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 hey, you know, I, I sti- yeah. I'm still okay with a wrench and a screwdriver sometimes. <laughs> yeah, some of it. Yeah, I've seen your it's screwdrivers. Nice. They're orange and yellow and early morning. But uh, I'm going to no. call Jeff. He'll help me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Manny, it's great to talk to you. We yeah, really appreciate yeah, yeah. you taking the time uh, out of your Saturday to talk to us. And, Good uh, stuff. Yeah, Anytime. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for having me, guys. Stay in touch with us here. Let us know of any new stuff you got coming along. You got it. Thank All you. Right. Manny Kapoor, uh, Mopar product manager for Wrangler and Gladiator. Okay. Hey, we'd love to hear from you. Just shoot us an email. The address is info at inwheeltime.com. What were you going to say? I was going to say there's a dealer down there just got a white Gladiator in. Then and uh, I'm all, oh, I like it. It looks really good, and I could see it with a few little things on it. Those tube doors and stuff. Oh yeah. My wife would probably wouldn't see it, but I could see that. You know, it'd be one list. of those vehicles just that don't you show her. Leave it. Exactly. Leave, leave it at the beach. Yeah, leave it at the beach and just uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Just say yeah, it's the run new, up and down the beach. It's, it's the new uh, golf cart. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. just a bigger get a, get golf a, cart. Get, a, get a, the four E. Can you imagine all the grandkids you could put in I don't it? Know. I guess yeah. I, I don't know if you could get the 4E in a Gladiator. Not, a, not yet. Not in a Gladiator. You can get coming. it in the Wrangler only. All right. Time now for a couple of stories making automotive news headlines this week. Recalls to tell you about. Uh, front driver's side airbag may not deploy properly in the Chevy Bolt, EUV, and the EV for 2022. Uh same thing for the BMW X5 for the 2019 model year. Out, occupant classification system malfunction. What? What the hell is that? There's the little light that tells you somebody's sitting next to you? I, I don't well, know. Well, I think the, uh, the new passenger side airbag systems will identify not only that there's a passenger in the passenger seat for the airbag. Are you guessing? Deploy. Yeah, I'm guessing. <laughs> but it's also going to wanna... identify you know, the size of the passenger. Oh. He's guessing. Anyway, if you've got a BMW X3 or X4 from the 2018 to 2019 model year, that's Don't guess. You. Go to government safercars.gov. Electronic brake booster may leak in the, into the ECU on the Ford F-150 That's for the 2021 oh, year. It's not good either. Year. Uh, unsecured wiring harness on the Lincoln Aviator 20 to 20, uh, 21, and drive shaft may separate <laughs> on the Ford F-350 Super Duty. 20 to 21. Yeah, is that yeah, a double while shaft? You're, while you're pulling a 30,000-pound trailer. But doesn't it have the double? That'll go over well. Oops. What happened there? <laughs> Honey, the horses just passed us. <laughs> <laughs> Ford Motor Company uh, rear suspension tow link fracture is possible on the Ford Explorer 2013 to 2017. Ooh, that's mm. not good. Uh, incorrect transmission overflow pipe and filter on the Mercedes-Benz GLK 250 for 2013. And the high-voltage battery may catch fire in the Chevy Bolt EV 2017 to 2019. A thermal, thermal event. <laughs> so go to safercar.gov and be sure and type in your VIN number, which you can find on your proof of insurance card. Oh, you're supposed to have insurance? You're supposed to. Okay. Yeah. I'll remember that. that. Um, rebounding Mitsubishi Motors Corporation. I didn't know they were <laughs> you, rebounding. You like my car. Have you, have, you, have you seen that ugly <laughs> Outlander crossover? Oh, my God. It's a throwback to the Aztec. Do you remember the Aztec? Mm-hmm. This is worse than the Aztec. Worser. Oh, gosh. Well, a- no appara- pictures? apparently the redesigned Outlander crossover fueled a U.S. sales surge. Both I don't, of them. They are not my neighbors, nor do I want them to be. <laughs> uh, I... I- So there, did, did you hear that. G, uh, Nissan has announced the 2023 Nissan GTR is going to have a hybrid component of it, uh, similar to what they used in the Le Mans Nissan hybrid vehicle. Le Mans. And the new R36 supercar is going to stick with the current R35's twin-turbo V6, but they're going to have a hydri- hybrid power booster on it. Do you go to New York? Mm-hmm. Do you like New York? Anybody I, like New I York? I grew up in New York. Did you? Forgive New York me. York City. Well, I have suburbs of the city. Okay. Well, electric vehicle company Revell, or Revel, 
R E V E L. I used to have their little models. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. We'll privately build the car charging stations the city needs to support a future where EVs replace gasoline powered vehicles. Yeah. Revel believes it can make New York City an offer it can't refuse. Hey. <laughs> Tony. Forget about it. The electric vehicle company will privately build the car charging stations the city needs to support a future where EVs replace gas-powered vehicles. What the company wants in exchange is access to the city streets for its four higher vehicles. In other words, an exemption from the current cap. Well, and that's, that's New York. I'll give you something if I get something. If I get something that I like, I'll give you whatever you want. But I got to get something in return. It's in powder blue. I know a guy that knows a guy that's got a sister. Yeah. Tony, two, Tony No Thumbs. Hey, forget about it. <laughs> Quick break now. Then we're right back right here on the In Wheel Time Car Show. Stay with us. Houstonian-owned Bayway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has the most sought-after models in the Houston area today. When you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, you now have a place to go. General Manager Lincoln Stahl guarantees Bayway will beat any competitor's written price on the new vehicle you choose or pay you $1,000. Bayway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is easy to get to on Highway 225 near Beltway 8 in Pasadena. Whether it's online or in person, you're welcome like one of the family. Bayway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram.com. Tailpipes and Tacos, Houston's premier monthly car cruise-in returns Saturday, August 21st at two Loopy Tortilla Mexican restaurants in Katy and inside the loop on the Southwest Freeway near Kirby. Tailpipes and Tacos is free and everyone is invited. You'll see collector cars, hot rods, customs, magnificent originals, and resto mods at two locations. Cars from all over Southeast Texas cruise in and show off in a friends and family event at the Loopy Tortilla Mexican Restaurant on the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard just south of I-10 and Katy, and inside the loop on the Southwest Freeway near Kirby. Drag racer, car enthusiast, and Loopy founder Stan Holt brings you Houston's hottest cruise in. Tailpipes and tacos at Loopy's inside the loop on the Southwest Freeway in Kirby and in Katy on the Grand Parkway just south of I-10 where you'll see the In Real Time Car Show. Get your ride ready and we'll see you at the Tailpipes and Tacos Saturday morning cruise in at Loopy's in Katy and Kirby. August 21st, 8 to 11 a.m., weather permitting. You see all the new ceramic car wash cleaners on TV now, but John Gray at Gulf Coast Auto Shield has been using ceramic coatings on Houston's most expensive cars for years. And he'll tell you that nothing beats the real thing. Gulf Coast Auto Shield installs a coating over your paint that actually comes with a warranty. If you just picked up your Lambo, your Aston Martin, Porsche, Ferrari, any other exotic car, chances are your car will have company that have already found Gulf Coast Auto Shield. Now, you don't have to own an exotic. Maybe you got a truck, an SUV, or even an older vehicle that needs a little love. Well, let John Gray give it a look and give you an estimate on refurbishing that paint and making your vehicle look new again. How about getting a gift certificate for the wife's birthday or anniversary from Gulf Coast Auto Shield and tell her, honey, I know you love your car, so why don't we get it looking? new again. It'll be the best gift ever, one that she'll never forget. Get hold of John Gray at gcautoshield.com or give him a call 832-264-0670. Gulf Coast Auto Shield. 